This solemn and dignified ceremony took place at the Franz Josicher Friedrichstadt Kirche in Berlin, where the service was jointly administered by the Council of Churches of Namibia and the Evangelical Church in Germany. Bishops Ernst Kramchamup and Pietra Bosse Huber presided over the ceremony. Various traditional leaders of the affected communities presented short tributes before the deputy chairperson of the Council of Traditional Leaders, Chief Emmanuel Kasip, spoke about the need to heal past wounds. I would like to appeal that we acknowledge the past, however painful or embarrassing, in dealing with the ugly chapter in our common history. During the government-to-government -government handover ceremony, Germany's Minister of State Michel Munterfering reiterated the need to correct the wrongs of the past. I confess that we took part in this history and I am aware of our country being involved during colonialism. Germany has a lot of work to do, but as a country we are admitting to the guilt and the horrific deed we put on the Namibian people. That is why Germany and our partners in Namibia are trying to heal the wounds of the past. Namibian head of delegation Katrina Hanse Himarwa commended everyone involved who made this day a reality. As the intent to tell our story in a manner that both the Germans and the Namibian people accept it as their collective story. That's where the significance of building bridges comes in. The story of genocide, this dark, ugly past, must not remain the story of Namibians, the Nama and the Ovairoro, but it must become our collective story. We both buy in. The Namibian delegation will return with the human remains this evening from Germany and will arrive at the Hosea Kutako International Airport at 6.30 on Friday morning. The remains will be welcomed during an official state ceremony at Parliament Gardens on the same day.